Welcome to our channel. In today's example, we'll show you how to create a geographical state heat map in Excel using custom Excel shapes and formulas. We can create our heat maps in Excel in a short time. We provide complete source code in the article, and the map is free to download. As a precursory, take a look at the map below for the result. The developing of this map consists of four main parts. Preparing shapes in Excel, building the data table and text boxes, creating the legend and color scale, writing a short VBA code. For the first step, we have to import into Excel a map that contains all the states of the U.S. The characteristics of the shapes are grouped, so we have to separate them with the use of the ungroup function. So we'll be able to color every single state individually. After the ungrouping, we'll have a map just like this one below. Now we'll create a similar database as you can see on the figure below. The column State contains the names of the states. In the second column, you can find special codes. These will be important later. Every shape gets a unique name, and by this, we will be able to identify them automatically when making the heat map. In the third column, there are the values by which the VBA decides what color each state will be. Now, jump to the map, highlight the shape, and use the name box on the top left corner of the worksheet. We should name the highlighted area by the state codes in the data table. We'll display the names of the states for better understanding for everyone. All we have to do is to insert a text box and position it over the state. For consistency, we should aspire to use the data table's proper codes. The next step is the most time-consuming, but it is worth it because the result will be remarkable. Name all the states using the name box and also make the labels using the text box. Let's define the color scales and values with formulas that our macro will use to update the colors and the texts of our heat map. The data range definition, in this case, is rather simple. The minimum and maximum values can be simply read out of the data table values column. We will divide this range into groups with the use of a statistical formula. In our example, the interval between the minimum and maximum values will divide into 16 parts for the most detailed visualization. With the help of the percentile formula, we can set between the minimum and maximum values an arbitrary interval. The first parameter of the formula is the scale values range. We'll define the lowest and highest values that we'll divide. The second parameter of the formula means that we create the categories in every 6%, altogether 16 of them. In the first column, we displayed the received intervals, these changes dynamically depending on the actual values. The second column shows the given interval lowest value. So in the third column, we displayed the color belonging to the given range. Our data tables are ready. To color and refresh all shapes, we'll use macros. With three short macros, we make the heat map dynamic. To insert macros, Open the VBA window and insert a module and copy-paste the following codes into the module. Let's see the first one. Here we determine every shape's characteristics and every single state's characteristics of the heat map. After this, we determine how thick should be the line dividing the shapes. Finally, we fill the shapes with color. We store the start points of the intervals in the range named scales. With the help of next loop, the macro reads all the intervals and the colors assigned to them. This will be drawn out on the heat map. The color heat map will do the dirty work. There are two pieces of information that can be found in the data range. The identifier of the given shape and the actual value. In order to start the macro easily, we'll insert a command button. After we inserted the button, give it a name so everyone can understand its function. Finally, assign the code responsible for the coloring of the heat map.
From now on, you can freely change the values in the data collector table. All we have to do is to click on the command button. The map will automatically refresh based on the given settings. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Subscribe to our channel.